I've also been watching House of the Dragon. Anyone else watching House of the Dragon? <laughs> hell yeah. I'm enjoying the hell out of that show, but I don't like how okay it's making me, and I think how okay it's making all of you with incest. Yes. <laughs> If you guys are not familiar with House of the Dragon, this is the, why, this is the reason why there's a lot of incest on the show, alright? The royal family in this fantastical universe is called the Targaryens, the Targaryen family. They're from a race of people called the Valyrians. What makes the Valyrians special is that they can ride and control dragons. And the reason why they need to do so much incest is because if they, like, mate with non-Valyrians, then the bloodline gets less pure, and then dragons don't listen to them as well, and they won't be able to exert as much power. That's a great reason to do incest. What the fuck? <laughs> like, if your buddy was a Targaryen, your buddy was like, hey, I'm thinking of dating or marrying someone who I'm not related to, you'd be like, dude, are you high? What is wrong with you? <laughs> dude, you have a niece right there. Fuck your niece right now, dude. Your niece's mom is also your cousin. Fuck your cousin niece right now! Dude, here's what's weird about it is like, is that, I'm sure you guys are familiar that like Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, it's based off real uh, royal history, you know, War of the Roses and shit like that. And like Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, they were distant cousins. And so incest is a real thing in our universe that royal families have done. But we have no dragons, they just did it for the love of the game. <laughs> Can you think of something more cringe than dating your cousin but you don't get a dragon? I would kill myself. I wouldn't. 